Assalamu alaikum. It's another Ramadan. I don't know what I'm going to be doing for Ramadan. If I'm going to like um, do another Ramadan series, you know, like each week. But today is the second day of Ramadan and it's already um, Iftar. So someone that I know, someone invited me for um, Iftar to enjoy, to break the fast with them. So I'm heading there right now. You don't want to know how my week had gone. It wasn't a fun week for me, but Alhamdulillah for everything. Yeah, so I lost my car, my first baby, my first car. I lost it. I got into an accident on Monday, and so that's how I lost it. Do not ask whose fault it was, but oh, look at look at the beautiful, beautiful crescent moon. I have to. This week hadn't started on a good note. I lost my car, my first ever baby that I would ever have. I lost it, and yeah, do not ask whose fault it was. It wasn't mine, technically. But anyway, turn right. Yeah, but anyways, that was how that went. Oh my goodness, Ramadan started and it's the second day. I got invited to Iftar, which is where I'm going now. Yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome that I will get to break my fast with um, family and now like be on my own, like wondering what I'm gonna do, like oh, well, not really wondering anything, but you know, still having my iftar, but just alone. But I got invited, which is nice, and I'm heading there now. I mean, if I have my car, it's only about a five, uh, four or five minutes ride. Um, but since I don't walk at us, and it's about 15 minutes walk, it's nice to exercise during Ramadan, too, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> oh my goodness. So that's how my week had went. Hopefully I find a new, better car, inshallah. I pray that I find one. And yeah. You know when you like plan so many things and then you don't even have the time or like you're too lazy to do it? That's me right now. Like I have so many things planned that I haven't like get to. So I have to cook <laughs> for my dad. So yeah. So I had so much that I that I'm doing and that I want to like do before yeah before this weekend actually yeah I should like make some food they don't pack them in the in the fridge so yeah make some food pack them in the fridge so I have so I'm set for Ramadan like really that's basically it but right now I'm gonna enjoy this lovely I just love when people invite you to Iftar it's like oh you take one for, like first of all they take the stress of like cooking from you and then you got to like um, enjoy with them with families especially if you are living alone like myself I probably like do like a weekly ramadan vlog and that will be it but i guess this will be fun oh my goodness i haven't said this ramadan mubarak like ramadan mubarak to you to everyone out there to the muslim out there all over the world all around the world may we witness many 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 more i pray that we witness so many so many more So, I'm going to go enjoy my time, enjoy my iftar. Assalamu alaikum, Ramadan Barak to everyone. And see you definitely some other time. Um, I don't know when, but yeah, I don't even know how I'm going to do this Ramadan vlogs. Or I'm going to do them, but I will definitely catch you later. I'm doing Ramadan shopping. I used to buy this thing for 
eight dollars eight nine dollars look what it is like twice the price now ah look at all this dark spots around my face Oh, this is us. So it is like cumin. Oh, you know, you know, it's an African home. If you see this, I was going to say like, um, trying to figure out the name, but seems like it's not coffee. It's pepper. Like, yeah, pepper. I do spicy pepper, not scotch bonnets. Those long ones. Yeah. I have some ginger, cumin, um, I had like Italian mix, yeah, I had this, um, no, allspice, I have allspice and also I have, uh, what's the name, cloves, yeah, grounded cloves, that's all my seasoning, this is red peppers, orange peppers and Scotch bonnets or habanero peppers. This is onions, which I'm going to be putting like at the very, very end because with couscous that I'm cooking, I find out that it gives it like a very nice flavor, crunchy. Yeah, that's why I like putting it at the very, very end. Tastes good. It's actually my first cooking for Ramadan. Because, as you know, last year my period came bef uh, like before Ramadan, so like I just my Ramadan starts, the Ramadan starts, and my period also starts, and that's the same thing that happened this year too. So this is my first meal cooking for Ramadan. Today is gonna cook and season very well, and then I'll add something else to it. But yep, it's coming. It's coming. It's uh, beautiful food. This is gonna go in there. I'm gonna cook that for a while. And yeah. So this is gonna cook too, and then I'm gonna pour my stuff. I'm on dance today. Maybe cooking delicious food that I'll finish in two days. It's coming. It's coming. And now that this is cooked, I'm gonna add my cook. Oh, these two cups will be good enough I'm like overfill this thing because I don't want it to overfill that's the basis of this do not overfill The onions add another aroma to this crunchy aroma. 
that's why I had like adding it last so it doesn't cook so I woke up I don't know maybe about five a week ago and then I found this look at my hand and so anyways um I woke up and then I found this um cold sore on my lips it's so weird and then a day later it just burst and now it's been it's just bothering me every time like i lick my lips it's just like there and i want to pull it off like i so want to pull it off if i pull it off it's gonna it might bleed so i'm trying not to do that Anyways, so I finished my couscous, my first by Madame Cook meal. Like if you see the state of my room right now, be like, see what have you been doing? Like, I'm like, I'm gonna clean this room before Ramadan starts. But when school grabbed me, he grabbed me and shook me and shook me and shook me as well. Let me calm down. But... I probably will do it tonight. Inshallah. Mm. Oh, that's my beautiful beautiful font. It's soggy. It's good. Looking nice. Shout out to our Yala C. Ramadan is lit. It's going to be lit. Be are you ready? <laughs> so it's literally, literally. Um, time to iftar, like maybe an hour to iftar. And I'm just going to to the store or mall to buy something. I've been, I was like, I've been at home since morning, and I should really get out, at least stretch my legs. You know, so basically. So right now, I'm stretching my legs. Ooh, in Ramadan catch you, sir. When Ramadan catch you. And then, your lips are, your lips are dried up and everything like that. Oof. Oof. But yesterday, I went to the mall and I lost $10. And that actually hurts. I lost $10 and it hurts. Like apparently it fell out of my bag because you know I had like a few like maybe eighty dollars no ninety dollars inside there and for some reason maybe my bag didn't close or something and some of the twenty dollars fell out and the lady that I was talking to that time she saw it and she like called me and said Ah, no. She came to me, she was like, this fell out of your bag. $80. And she gave them back to me. And then, I noticed that the $10 with it wasn't there, because it was $90. But anyway, I shall have lost it. And that actually hurt. Though, I'm grateful that the lady gave me the $80 that fell out. That fell out. Oof. Oof. I feel like I'm tired already. This is just me just stretching my legs. Actually, it's the 13th day of Ramadan. Today is Tuesday, so it's the 13th day. And so, I decided that there's no way I'm going to spend the whole day at home. Though it's 7 something right now. And it's in an hour, we'll break fast. I have like blackberries. Blackberries are my fruits. They are my fruits. I love them. But they're so expensive. Well, I got them and 
Yeah, that's what I'm producing to break my fast. Because I'm definitely sure that I'll still be outside when the iftar times come. So, Whew. well, my hand hurts. So. Ching. Ching, ching. Whew. I think the bus is here. Please let it be the bus. Yay! Yeah, I thought I missed it. Okay, so Starbucks closes at um at eight. No, yeah, yeah, they do. They close at eight actually. Yeah, they close at eight. You know what? I don't really need to Starbucks first. Yeah, we're going to go down to the Starbucks first because I do like their almonds. Yeah, their sweet almonds. I like them very much, and I and I think it would be nice for Ramadan, like something to. I don't know. All right, almond nuts. Can you use them to break fast? I mean, considering I don't know kind of thinking sometimes i don't like to go to um like food place during ramadan especially when you're fasting because then like you start smelling it and you know what like smelling or like consuming the flavor of food sometimes like if you're intentionally doing it it can break your fast i'm pretty sure that's it it can if you intentionally <laughs> Lines. Um, actually, I want this too. Yes, of yeah. course. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know what kind of drink to get. Are you looking for something coffee or something? Okay, so we got the almonds. I got the almonds. Like this almond. I got my almonds, I got two of them. You know, actually, I should have actually um, seen the receipt, but I think it's about two or three something. Maybe two something. Yeah, so I'm gonna go to the Dollar Tree, so I'll get, I don't know, whatever I want to get there. But I'm pretty sure the mall is closed. Yeah, it closed at 6 today. Yeah, but it's still right outside, but no. Because that says today. Yesterday I went to work and I forgot my glasses there. So, and I was like, I'm gonna um, go in the morning today to get my glasses. But then I didn't end up going. And I was like, I'm gonna go in the evening time, like right now. But that didn't happen either. But maybe, inshallah, tomorrow. We'll see how tomorrow goes. So, we're at the Dollar Tree. The 13th day of Ramadan, and like, I only have planned to do four videos for Ramadan. We look like there's four videos. And I haven't even edited or compiled up the first one. Actually, sometimes the Raman have like nice scarves that you can convert to hijab, so like, I don't know, little turbans. I bought like a decent, some decent um, scarves from dollar store sometimes. Yeah. I have exactly this one. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. But honestly they like you can convert some of this into hijabs. Like like this I think this one. Like some some of the bigger ones anyways. I should get a basket just in case I end up buying more than I anticipated actually. In this linked chocolate at dollar store. 
and it's like only for 150. I'm being considerate. You know, it's a good thing that I remember. I need salt. I need salt. Salt. And yeah. My salt is done, so I need one. I need more. And because I'm going to be cooking tonight, I'm going to be frying some eggs. That's going to be my second week meal for suhoor or iftar. You don't want. Here. Da, 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 da. Oh, I got ginger. I need new spices actually. I don't have finished my spice. It's actually good that I come to this aisle because I also wanted to buy this, some chocolate. Mm -hmm. Is this instant coffee? Because that would be nice. I'm gonna ask. Do you have sea salt? Salt? I don't know. So, because they do not have like the ones in the pack, I'm gonna get this one. And maybe some other day I'll go to Sobeys or No Frills and get the huge packs. But I'm thinking, what's found better instant coffee so i'm gonna take this one instead and just put that one back this will work better better and maybe i should take some tea too because i don't have any more well i have some but this is i'm almost i am almost done with that one so this will be better wait is that salt no that's sweetener back and then, what else do I want? What else do I want? I swear, I'm just preparing for Sahara. Sorry. Oh my goodness. I'm just preparing for Sari and um, or Suhoor and Iftar. Mm. So, you know, I've been contemplating on um, cooking like fried rice, like Asian way, not Nigerian way. So, I'm. Um, and I saw the soy sauce now. Okay, so it looks like water, soil, caramel color, laxis acid, and so. So this seems like something that I can use, but I will have to come some other time because I'm not doing it now. I have to come some other time and get this. I think I'm gonna take one of these too. Basil leaves. Mm. Maybe I should take some cilantro action. Kind of organo chopped hives. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. French fry. So, let me, I do not like this seasoning. Like the first time that I used it. I didn't like the taste it came out. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I'm get so spice paprika. Okay. I think I'm good. It's not bad. That's all I'm getting. Just this one here? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so. Look at the sunsets. The I mean, it's still like about 25 minutes to sunset, but that's so my stroll around went well, I think, and I'm just going to head back home now. Well, I might just go to like, I'm going to go to the Starbucks, see what they have for me. And I'll probably start to break my fast too. You know what? The south bus that's going to my house is actually here. Oh! And I also want to put on a who knows. 
I don't know how long it's gonna stay there for. Where is it? Oh, the tea, it's hiding behind the tree. <laughs> I mean, I already got coffee, so I don't think I need any more um something. But look at just this. It's just so bright and so beautiful. Like if Tara is coming. Ah You like the vibe? Oh look at another another kind of another kind of color to my face to my dry to my face. But it's nice though. It's actually very nice and very beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna say something. Like there's so many Ramadan traditions in Nigeria or from Nigeria that I know. You know, in the beginning of uh, Ramadan, so students or I don't know, neighborhood kids, everything, you know, they will now make this list. They will now make this list. Like everyone, everybody will make this list so that like the list will have like um, promise, if we call it promise me. So they, it can have like can of milk, like those pig milk, can, chocolate, money, you know, everybody will try and make a list. So at the beginning of Ramadan, everyone will now go around. I mean, I made the, I made the list too one time, like a long time ago. Everybody will go around and be asking like people, promise me, promise me. And then they will, they will try and pick something from the list to promise you with, sign it, check your name and then Maybe yeah, during the Ramadan or after the Ramadan, they will give you the stuff. So that's one uh, Nigerian um, Ramadan tradition that I know. And there was this other one. It's kind of like the disgusting one. I don't know. I don't know how. It's not true, Sha. They, this is home now, but I want to go and get um, Starbucks. Should I go or should I just go? Home? You know what? I think I'm just going to go home. Hopefully the bus is still there when I go get there. I have a move. I'm just gonna go home. Okay, so so the second one, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like what? Ah sorry. <laughs> Oh the bus is gonna leave now I think. So and now I'm and I think and it seems like I might just break faster too instead of I thought that I would be home by the time the sun set, but that didn't turn out to happen. 
So I've never had to break my fast inside the box. I don't think so. So there's the first. Like they say, there is a first for everything. I'm just snacking on my lunch chocolate until I get home and I mean I could eat my couscous. I still have some left. But I'm thinking that I want to cook, fry some egg and like go Nigerian agigi bread style. And yeah, the ride home was nice. I mean, like the bus. So like, I mean, during this Ramadan, have been, have been very, you know, it's kind of starts slow for me, cause you know, like the last Ramadan we have, like last year's Ramadan, I had my period at the beginning of the Ramadan, so I didn't fast for a couple of days during the Ramadan, and the same thing happened this Ramadan too, so that's been consecutive. I remember last Ramadan because I wanted to finish the, the Quran, reading the Quran. Like every Ramadan, I had the I had the goal. The goal is always to finish the Ramadan. Like to fit oh, sorry. The goal is always to finish the like kira of the like reading the Quran. Like that's always the goal. But uh, as I, I don't know, as God will have it, I don't ever finish reading the Quran like in Ramadan. I mean, you know, I noticed Oh, my hands hurt. My hands actually hurt. Okay, so what I noticed was that when I start from like Alhamdulillah, like Surat al Fatiha, going to Surat al Baqarah and Ali Rimran and so on and so forth, if I start from there, I get lazy because you know those um, surah are actually quite long. So you get like, I feel, I, I, um, I get the understanding that I get tired way more easily or I get, um, I don't know, maybe lazy when I started from there than when I started from Surah to Nas, Surah to Falak and um, Surah to Hiklas. You know, I've read, I, I've heard Surah to Hahad before because Kulo Allah Hahad, but it's actually called Surah to Hiklas, not Surah to um, Hahad. <laughs> But I've heard so at the heart. Okay. So anyways, um, so I found that like I get more tired when I when I start from like the longer surahs than the easier, like the shorter ones. So yeah, so I've been I mean last Ramadan I started from Surah to Nas. Yeah, I started from Surah to Nas last Ramadan and I read and I read it all the way to Surah to Namil. Namil. I'm pretty sure it's certain numbly that I read it through. Yeah, numbly. Not not Nahal. Which one comes before Nahal? Well, I'm sorry. Which one comes? Which one comes first? Nahal or numbly? Whichever the one that's like closer to Bakara. That's where I stopped. That's um that and the Ramadan hints. And I have the intention of continuing after Ramadan. Like I still want to finish it, but I didn't. I didn't like. Okay, so so for this year, the Ramadan actually started a little bit slower for me. Like I was very kind of like tired. I don't know maybe because um my period. I'm not so sure. Um, so I was kind of tired and lazy, you know. So I think I started reading the Quran maybe about third or the fourth Ramadan day. And now I'm at Surat al Jatia. No, no, Surat al Duhan. That's where I'm, I'm right now. Surat al Duhan. Yes, and you know, while I was on the bus today, like I was at, um, I started Surat al Jatia and I finished Surat al Jatia because it's about 36 higher. Yeah, I think it's about 36 higher, Surat al Jatia. And then now I'm at Surat al Duhan, and which I already read like the first nine or ten verses i think i read about nine or ten verses so i'm going to continue that when i get home well obviously i'm going to pray my group first before and cook my food actually fry my egg really because i only need to like fry eggs i already have my yeah i, already, I only need to fry my eggs 